brothers. The betrayed is all over the place. But it, it doesn't matter. No one cares about this game. Oh look, the UI already bugged out. I lost the cursor. It was there just a second ago. Then I alt tabbed, I tabbed back, and boom, it's gone. It's fucking stupid. Anyhow, <clears throat> let's see if Simone still reacts to F. Okay. Because that also bugs out and breaks at some point. The the cursor not being visible is just whatever. Like, also, the E prompt not showing up, that's another thing, that's just... It doesn't really matter. Because that's not really a functional bug. But when the... When the fucking bike stops responding to your calls... <laughs> they don't call you back! That's functional bug. It's, a restart fixes it, guys, it's fine. So... We're going to the, <coughs> the pink pyramid. As my voice goes away, <clears throat> I ate an orange, like, half an hour ago. Some of the fucking juice of the orange went down the wrong hole into my lungs. I've been coughing ever since. I think I fucked up my throat with all the coughing. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's... Maybe, maybe I should shut the fuck up, but... But I won't! No one! No big orange can silence me. <laughs> oh god. Is that a bucket? One of those pod things, but it's 10 a.m. so They're all closed. Pod thing. Whoa. So yeah, let's check the this yellow thing, then we go back to the mysterious shrine. Why does it t um, be this thing all the time again? See if the mysterious shrine person is done with the mysterious shrining. Oh, it's this thing! Look at that! It's an actual something. I haven't been in here. That's a chest, an untouched chest. Mm -hmm. In my town, no chests shall be untouched. Anyhow, and after the mysterious shrine, I'll check the. What the fuck? These look new. Oh, a melancholy mushroom. That's actually not new. I've had like one or two of these before. The audio is already fucking up. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll, we'll probably fish, maybe? At least one of the fish. I remember one of them is in the lively forest area. It's gonna be like here. I'll just go here. Fish in this area. Have I been there? Probably. Also, the last recording will be done, like, we're wrapping up. Lavender Flash Die! Ooh! That of colors of Lavender Flash Bike. It has orange, it has purples, pinks, lavenders. Hell yeah. Kinda wanna put that on the bike. That looked real nice. That looked real nice! <coughs> So, mysterious shrine. Because I think it's been yet another in game day. I wonder if the mask will start fidgeting in here. See if I miss the chums when we're nearby. No. Okay. <clears throat> 109. Ooh, music. I also need a bunch of money. Because <clears throat> the speedster, I think, is like 300 a piece. That uh, other one is two fifty a piece, plus two more pieces of the uh, of this middle thing. You need the head and the butt, as I call them. <clears throat> oh, I need a lot of money. Hey there, seeing me fear all but leaps with excitement. 
Sable, I've been waiting for you. I decoded the final inscription. We were right, it was a game, a race. And you completed it exactly as intended. You know what that means? I get a prize. Oh, you definitely won. Or more accurately, Simoon won. Barely registers with me that she uses Simoon despite never being introduced. Oh yeah. But I mean, I think they talked about this, or one machine has talked about it. They, you know, they can, they can feel the name or whatever. I don't get the chance to bring it up. It's a prize, a real one. Once you complete the race, the pillars reveal the text. Translate the text and you get... Bike parts! Yes! Incredible ones, older in the design than any I've ever seen, but perfectly elegant. You must try them, Sable, you must. Ooh! Oh, these are the ones! Okay, bull fucking horse shit. I've seen those in Acria. I've seen those parts on bikes, and I was wondering where I get them. So, that means some motherfuckers, multiple motherfuckers, completed the race and got some of the parts. What the fuck? I can fit the parts onto your bike if you'd like to ride it now. Yes. Okay, let's take a look. <clears throat> Fucking stupid, because I've seen those. It's not even a secret. Okay, th this UI being fucked is so annoying. Let me see the thing. Icaric Ring. So compared to the Lightning Boy, it's a lot slower, but with better handling and a lot better acceleration. Holy shit, it's an accelerating beauty. Let's put the new die on it. This is the new one. Oh god, it's ugly. <clears throat> I still don't know where the... Uh, ew, where that sand die is. Because I had this from the beginning. It was in the Burnt Oak Station, I think. This I got not long after. But like yesterday I got a die that's similar to this. Maybe there's a duplicate, I don't know. And this is the one I got now. It's hideous. Alright, let's see. Compared to the electric bike. Crystal bike. The Hikaric bike. Again, slower, better handling and acceleration. Baby. green bike booster oh my god okay we have no speed at all maybe i should mix and match to get the best out of it so we have like half the speed right less than 50 percent of the maximum speed we can get but we reach that speed very fast i don't think it's it's worth it because if I have like this much maximum speed with this much acceleration, it's essentially the same thing, right? On average, but once it gets to max, it just goes. Then again, the fast bikes tend to jump around a lot. It slows it down, so... You know. This bike! Faye shakes her head and shrugs, but it's in a nice way. May you do at something so grand and so beautiful, awe-inspiring, that you can't help but feel small, sort of casually useless in its shadow. Spike is wonderful. I uh, agree and thank her for the opportunity to ride it in an ancient race. She explained that in playing their old game I felt more connected to the past <clears throat> than I did hearing the drier bits of history. It's great, I mean, that's, uh, I don't know, if I'm just a romantic or something, but I always have such a hard time connecting to the past with connecting to the people. Strange for a machinist, isn't it? Think about it. I suppose it is strange for a machinist somehow. I find it comforting too. There really is room for all kinds behind all masks. Wow. I want to keep the bike and bring it to a new era. Oh, I want you to keep the bike. Okay. <clears throat> Let it see how the world changed while it was sleeping. You know that the core is still Simone. Just because it has different wings, engine and whatever else. Tail. Or whatever. Or maybe that's the... I don't know. That doesn't mean... <clears throat> it's the it's a different bike, it's still Simone. Good old ugly Simone that I can't fucking paint. I can't like that. It would be so nice if that also <clears throat> got the uh the paint that you apply to the to the bike. It sticks out like a sore thumb. 
I don't ride much myself nowadays, so it would be good in my ha good hands with you. I get to be smug around the other machinists. Yeah, one is in jail. Thank you for your skill and generosity and head off. Can you like customize? Yeah, cool. Look at this ugly fucking thing. Oh, and when you sit on it, it's prettier because it turns it blue. And that goes better with the current scheme. Oh my god, that's fast. Spin. Okay, so the rings just do the same thing. It doesn't matter. Okay, the handling is amazing. Like, it turns so well. Whoa. Whoa. Look at the fucking turn on this guy. Yeah! Okay, maybe acceleration is important. Because it feels so fast. Sound is also pretty cool. Oh wait, it turns like white. But it goes, it's white. The rings just spin normally. Closer in diameter. When you're doing the space bar thing, you just kinda. What? They're slow and then they're fast. Interesting. Whoa! <coughs> Looks like trash now. It's a turd. It's a turd rocket. I want to put the. Crystal back. Oh my god, this fucking you. Struggling. What? How did those wings get there? That's literally not what I selected. My dick. Okay. Fully crystallized? Good. <coughs> ah, this handle's pretty much the same. Hey, Bob. This is, feels a little more sluggish, but this is essentially the same. And it shoots out essentially the same as well, so I don't know. I guess I only noticed the difference be because it was a slower bike, but like, the lighting one is essentially the same. How are you doing, Bob? <clears throat> because I'm doing the same as you. Put something weird on it. You know what? Let's make all of them different. I'm so annoyed at this fucking thing. What? Okay, that's... Is that the thing I selected? Or, or booster? Stupid game. Look at that. It's retarded. <laughs> A brand. <clears throat> Fame, son. Actually, it's perfect. <clears throat> You're doing fine. Me too, Bob. What a queen kidding. Hey, I wanna. I wanna know what it. What it sounds like when I call it. Oh, it's the ba -dip -ba -dip. we've heard it before, but its engine sound is a nice little hum. Okay, let's teleport. Hello, fuck! I forgot I can't drag the fucking map. It's lagging out. Let's go to the living forest. <coughs> It's a new year, Bob. Have you noticed that it's a new year? It's 
wonderful. That's where we're going. Hey, uh... Uh, this is pod racing. Yeah, it's New Year. Holy shit. Wow. Whoa. What's that? Oh, that's a leaf. I can't believe it's a new year. It's chicken! It's a chicken of the new year. <laughs> So this seems deep enough in the forest. Let's toss my shit in there. Uh, Fuck, I hit a tree. Uh, and I be fish, Bob. That's great. Now that looks new. Whoa, immediately got it. The Hummer. It's a Humvee. Bird-like fish that often surfaces from below sands to consume food in its natural habitat of palm forests. They move with erratic and incredible speed. I won't help them though because I have the atomic... Trickster atomic rod. <clears throat> Which is great. I like how the... The equipment sable is wearing now, the fucking trousers and the, the coat are from the same set, and yet they fucking clip. Like, I can understand if you wear different sets, they clip through each other, right? But the same set? Clipping? Come the fuck on. We right, got three, we don't need more than three. So that's done. Wastes. That was the hummy. Flutter thrust. Heart of midden below pillars of rock. Yeah, we can do that too. Heart of midden, pillars of rock. Couldn't be more simple. Super simple. Have you seen the uh, the meme awards on Steam? The Steam meme awards, Bob. <clears throat> the goddamn dump shit that that won. <laughs> So stupid. Meme awards? Yeah, the Steam Meme Awards. Oh fuck! There was a chum up there! Oh I forgot I need to keep watch on my uh mask. What one? You have not seen? Take a look. Take a look. Do a face bomb and then get back to me. <laughs> <clears throat> gamers were gamers again and they voted ironically and sarcastically. How the fuck did I miss this? Which in the end won't really matter. Because, you know, when, when Grandpa and Uncle are buying Little Timmy a, a new game and all they look at is the prestigious awards a game got, they're gonna see Starfield and gonna be like, whoa! Most innovative gameplay, 2023, it must be great. Oh, it's not. By the way, look away from the screen. About to watch Suicide. Ah! <laughs> Yay, death and rebirth. Right. Safe to look now. 110. Oh, wait, I don't need to go back up there. <laughs> Father's Gate 3? Yeah, I mean that was pretty obvious it would win Game of the Year. It won Game of the Year everywhere, so, you know, I mean, it, it deserves it. Under Pillars of Rock. Let's go under this big fuck off pillar. <gasps> there she is! Oh god, a glowing turd. But it's not really coming closer. Or is it? 
Simon? Don't know VR games? Yeah, I don't know it either, so I don't really, really care. I don't even know what I nominated. It's whatever. Some Labyrinth game won. I don't know what it is. But look at the obvious bullshit. <laughs> Not sure if Red Dead 2 had a single update in 2023, right? That's one of the fucking weird ones. That's probably just... Uh, rigged. <laughs> oh, that's new. Oh wait, no, it's not new. It's the scabby fish. We don't care about the scabby fish. Yeah. I think most of the nominees for game uh, for the uh, Labor of Love were like fucking Dota and fucking Valorant and, and CSGO too. Like, you know, live games that obviously constantly get updates and fixes and shit. And changes. I think one was well obviously one was Red Dead 2 and then was, there was one more but I don't remember what it was but I think that was um, kind of meaningful or you know kind of worthy for Game of the or Labor of Love but I don't remember what it was so it's probably not that big of a game anyways but it's <clears throat> it's weird that Red Dead got it because I think GTA received some graphic updates this year <laughs> But I, I don't know anything about fucking uh, Red Dead 2. Deep Pro, Galactic, Rust, Dota 2, Apex. Wait, those were the labor of love? But that's... that's a lot. One, two, three, four... Oh yeah, and the fifth one is Red Dead, actually. No, yeah, that's why. I thought CS2 was there as well. And it was Apex, not Valorant, okay. Yeah, Deep Rock. Deep Rock was the one that should have won that. Because that game is also getting updates. You know, it's getting, like, periodic things. <clears throat> and I think it's it's more deserving than a game that's been kind of dead. Oh, there it is. For years. I think I read online that uh, Red Dead's uh, online has been abandoned for, like, a year or two. So, I don't know how it's getting Labor of Love. You want to Deep Rock? <clears throat> no, you don't really like it that much. I've never played it, but I've seen content on it and it's it's pretty fun. Look pretty fun. <clears throat> but yeah, honestly, out of the five, maybe Rust. Maybe Rust could get it as well, because that's not really... I mean, it is an online game, but it's not like Dota or Apex. Like, I don't know why those were even nominated. But yeah, it's it's weird. Keep looking. Keep, keep looping. It, it gets worse. <laughs> Butter thrust. Fun in the fingers. Oh, these are the fingers, huh? These delicate creatures avoid predators by blending in, blending their fins into the striations of nearby rocks. But they are under the sand. They don't blend in shit. How do they know what the rocks look like? You don't have a Steam Deck? <clears throat> yeah, but you still... You can probably look at the look at the runner-ups or nominees for the for the Steam Deck one. I think the Brotato one was one of the uh, nominees. I think that's what I nominated or voted for. Okay, other thrust. I only need two: one for the Angler and one for the Vivarium. So that's done. Well, like, how, how the fuck did Hogwarts win, won, uh, win that? <laughs> Does that even run, run on the Steam Deck? Rotato, Outlast, Trials, Dredge, Diablo 4. Yeah, like, for a Steam Deck, I would think uh, Rotato, Dredge, and Diablo 4 would be okay. Like, Outlast, Outlast Trials is also kind of weird. On the Steam Deck. Something that that is kind of hectic and you're running around mostly in the dark and you you try to communicate with other people it's like how the fuck do you play that on the steam deck like you're doing your morning commute to work and you're playing the outlast trials on the steam deck it's like or you're playing it on the train or some shit like what how <laughs> what the fuck <sighs> something to runs on steam deck i mean i don't know just because it runs, 
doesn't mean it's it runs well or it's or it's a good experience right Although it's probably a better experience than Atlas Trials, but because it's single player at least, I think. But I feel like it's not what people play on Steam Deck most of the time, you know, like handheld stuff. People probably play lighter games that you can just just kind of fire it up in two seconds, play like ten minutes, and you're okay, you know. But I might be wrong, I don't have a handheld. What am I trying to look at? Oh yeah, questing. <clears throat> Wrestling Empire should have been nominated there. You've heard it's great on Steam Deck. Wrestling Empire could be better than the uh, Hogwarts Legacy on Steam Deck. Because that's also kind of game that you just fire it up, play a little bit, right? Ghost Soul Clue. Seek the souls of old bones. Okay, we're gonna go there, but not yet. Hummer, we have the Hummer. That's the... Thing. They're fine. These will often feed on shrubbery in the Badlands. Hold on. Right. I don't remember which one was the Badlands. I think it might be this that's the Badlands. Is this the Badlands? What did it say? Shrubbery in the Badlands. Pfft, shrubbery. It's a shrubbery. I mean, I don't actually I know what it's shrubbery is, but I don't know which one is the Badlands. Uh, let's talk to the cartographer. Maybe they can they can say. No objections with Lethal Company? Yeah, that one is actually okay. I think Party Animals was also there. But yeah, Lethal Company definitely. That shit blew up like crazy. <clears throat> I think it has more players than Baldur's Gate 3. I looked at the Steam charts. <clears throat> but I mean, it's kind of the game that kind of blows up. Like, you know, Amongst Us blew up, Fall Guys blew up, that Party Animals game also blew up because it finally came out. Lethal Company is probably going to be the same, like, you know, it's gonna go for go very hard for a couple months and then it's just gonna fizzle out as soon as the content kinda stops coming. Then again, there are mods for it. And that that extends the life of any game, so you know. It's fucking fun. Alright, cartographer. Where the fuck am I? Came from the north, yes. Head back that way for Red Sensi and Red Sea. East, the Wash, Petrified Forest, West, Hakoa. So, this is the Badlands. This is probably the Badlands. However, you can go to this guy in Hakoa. Ask him what's nearby, and he's gonna tell me this, this, and this. Maybe not even this, because only two things border it. And if he says Badlands, then we know. And then all I need to do is look for some fucking... shrubs. Like it because it's co-op game? Yeah. I mean, obviously co-op game is always going to be better than a, a single-player-only game. <clears throat> and also competitive games. The co games are best, obviously. Why do I need to climb this every time? Atomic card. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's another one. I don't know how that won. I think that was the worst nominee uh, in the in the in the lineup. <laughs> I think Cocoon was one of them. Um, there was another artsy looking game besides Cocoon. I think there was another artsy game. I think there were like three artsy games 
than the Atomic Heart and something else. <laughs> Fucking Atomic Heart that looks basic as fuck. It looks like your average AAA game. It's like, yeah, outstanding visual style. I don't know why. It's probably because of the uh, the sex bots that are in the game. <clears throat> so gamers were like, ooh, big titted, thick thighs, robot girl. Two of them, and they want to crush you between their thighs. Yes, best visual style or something. So that's that's obviously another meme award. Oh yeah, Darkest Dungeon 2, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard time deciding between them. Thought Darkest Dungeon looks cool. Yeah, but Dar Darkest Dungeon 2 looks... Essentially looks the same as Darkest Dungeon 1. So it's not really an outstanding visual style, because they did it years ago. And didn't really do any upgrade on it. It is a very good visual style, but... Can't really stand out. And there are also Darkest Dungeon clones, quote-unquote clones, out there that have similar visual style as well. I think I have one of them on Epic. <clears throat> but yeah, even Darkest Dungeon would have been <laughs> a more sensible winner. But, you know, it's a meme award, so... <laughs> Description of the award. Visual style doesn't aspire to real-world graphical fidelity. <laughs> Anatomy card won it, which is obviously realistic. <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? Keep looking. This is gonna be a better one. The best one is yet to come. <laughs> that was a good plan to orient yourself. Love it. To the earth? E <laughs> I don't know <laughs> To the north lies Red Sea. And across the Badlands to the east you'll find the wash. Yes, good. So the middle is the Badlands. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> because this is the wash, the uh, the chalk place. And across the Badlands is the wash. So this is the Badlands, which means we're gonna go to roll this way, find a shrub and fish it. Easy. This game is fun. I have like 25 hours in this game. Or some shit. A shrub! Okay, that's probably not... Actually, I don't think I can uh, f fish in here. <laughs> gotta, go, gotta go down into the valley. The valley. Alright, little shrub. Tell me your secrets. What's the new with the gameplay? Shadows of Doubt, Skyrim in space. <laughs> Your only move is to hustle, contraband police, <laughs> and remnant. Oh, but that's remnant too, right? So yeah, contraband police, that's bullshit. Didn't really innovate anything. It's one of those uh, fucking Unity games. With use obvious assets. Remnant 2 is just Remnant 2, so we had it in Remnant 1. Your only move is to hustle. I don't really remember what it was, but I think that's what I nominated. Shadows of Doubt is that uh, crime game that you really like. And obviously Skyrim in Space is the most innovative. Obviously that's what that's why it won. It's, it's great. It's Skyrim, but in space. <laughs> that's another meme award, but that's the best. <clears throat> the problem is that, you know, even years later, when people already forgot about the game. And maybe people who are new to the whole thing are gonna look at it and gonna be like, wow, it has the most innovative game of award from Steam from 2023. That's all they're gonna see, right? They won't know that it was just a fucking meme. That it's supposed to be sarcastic. Because it's literally nothing new compared to Fallout 4 or Skyrim. In fact, there are less quality of life features in Starfield than there were in Fallout 4. Like, the, the whole menus and the UI is, is worse. <clears throat> but, you know, people won't remember that years from now. So they're gonna be like, wow, it must be great. So they buy it. They're gonna be disappointed, but at that point they already played like five hours, so they can't refund it. You know, that's the problem with the, the whole meme awards. Sure, it's funny, but... It's still an award. You know, it has no meaning now, but once people forgot, 
It's gonna be dangerous. Dangerous! You voted for Shadows of Dawn naturally? Yeah, I, I thought so. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse. The only move is to hustle. Honestly, to me, looks like Tori Bash. That sounds familiar. But in 2D, if you know what the. Oh, wait! Your only move is to hustle. That's the stick fight game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I know Tori Bash, yeah. But it's like turn based or something. That looks. That looked interesting. That's what I nominated, I think. Fight, Koi! If they do a badlands, these peaceful creatures are often kept and sold as pets. What? The glistening scales are also used in jewelry, sold in Ecria. Wow, jewelfish. Must worth must be worth a hundred cuts each. Must be. I mean, I haven't heard Tori Bash in so long. I really hope these are not night only fish. But yeah, the uh, the Starfield uh, award was the the biggest meme. The rest are whatever. <laughs> Although it's kind of weird how, for the best soundtrack, the Last of Us remake or remaster got the the award, and other nominees were like games where you literally have to. <clears throat> play the game to the music, I think. Like, Hi-Fi Rush, I think, was there. Like, whatever. Whatever, main. Basic post-apocalyptic game. With its background songs. <laughs> got the, uh, got the award. Very nice. Ridiculous. Oh shit, might be a night only fish. I need a second one. Although, the angler might not need these, but... The off chance that it needs it, I would like to have a second one. I have a feeling it's either shade or night time. And obviously there's no shade here now. Ah, seriously wonder if... oh shit. Fucking hell. Wonder and Police is any good. I can't believe it would get enough nominations otherwise. It doesn't look very popular in like Skyrim in space. It's like it's it's fun for like one session, you know, like you play around with it for like five hours. Like a longer session, right? But that's about it. I've seen seen the someone stream it. And it was fun. But it's it's a very short-lived thing, in my opinion. Because all you do is next car and you you inspect them. Obviously, you get more and more uh, details that you have to look for. It's it's like Papers Please, if you know that game. <clears throat> but but it's 3D and less serious. Okay, so we got this fish. Look at this shit. It's. Dude, I hate this UI. There's my cursor, alright. Cool. I got the flutter thrust. You're gonna get this. We got the hammer, we got the light koi. I don't know the eastern dunes yet. Hillfish. I got this one yesterday. Suckerfish. Seek the shade of large rock arches in Red Sea. Okay. And the trifle jelly. So... This is in the wash. This is in the wash. Large rock arches in Red Sea and the Eastern Dunes. Okay, Red Sea. Red Sea is obviously the red one. These look like large rocks that arch. So we're just gonna go there. Yeah! Seems to be described as Paper Splits 3D mixed to GTA. Yeah. Yeah, because you drive around as well. And there's some car chases.
is a very good description. Paper sprees with uh, mixed with GTA, yeah. That sounds legit. I'm gonna sell some of these fish. Because I might be able to buy some bike parts. From this dude. Look! There's the fucking ring bike right here. As the engine of the ring bike. This is supposed to be a secret! Sell me shit. Alright, so I got... They got 3,000 monies. I only got 200. Look at this, 300 each. Oh, these are 150, not 250. Okay, I can buy, like, a couple of that. But I sell some fish. I don't want to sell these yet, because I haven't found anyone who wanted these. Same with this thing and this thing. I don't even know where I got the, the figs from. Because I know where to get the dusk fireflies, but where the fuck do you get the fig? These were only needed once, but who knows. These were also not needed yet. The Oasis Dragonflies weren't needed either. Only the yellow, or the set wells. Mushroom is also something that I haven't... Eight! I only have three. I swear I had more. But you have a forest in the wash. Tastes quite nice despite the miserable name. Oh no, I saw this at the merchant. Yeah, that's... That's, that's the one. I just saw it. Sell for two?! My dick. Well, I guess we're not buying more than a couple of fish. Okay, so I can sell these for 8, sell these for 6. 35 only for this shit? I'll try to farm the teacup anglers. Then the light koi. Teacup angler is so much easier to get. Oops. I wanted to buy one part. I wanted to buy a part! God damn it! Just, just give me a part. Give me the big fucking wheel. Salt bike engine. Large wheel on the back of this bike is used in the processing of salt gathered from salt pools. Damn straight, buddy. Salt pools in my piss. Go to the mysterious shrine and put it on. <clears throat> no objections with Sifu? Yeah, that's what I nominated. I don't know what the other stuff was. But I, I, I've never played Sifu. I don't think I've played any of the ones in the uh, in the list. So I just took a look at them and I was like, yeah, probably Sifu. And it won. Yay. I don't know if that's a meme award. I think all the nominees were decent. So it's probably... It's probably, you know, just the most popular amongst the, uh, the nominees. Tune my bike, please. Da, 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 da. Oh, a big engine. Okay, what? More speed, less acceleration, and less handling. Holy shit. But wait a minute. It's... It's better acceleration and handling than the lightning, but less speed. Barely less speed. Oh, honestly, this could be better than the lightning bike. Holy shit. It doesn't even cost much. Interesting. <laughs> what the fuck? That's huge! Looks like a pizza cutter. It's, it's a truck! <laughs> it's a fucking truck! <laughs> That's amazing. I need the I need the other parts. Best soundtrack, Last of Us, Hi-Fi Rush, Chance of Snar, Persona 5 and Pizza Tower. Yeah, that's... No, I, I, I did talk about this. It's kind of weird how <clears throat> Last of Us got it. Hi-Fi Rush has the uh, the one where you... It's not coming to me. But you have to play for the beats. It's like the Crypt of the Necrodancer. But it's like more guitar shit. Chance of Scenario is like an artsy game like this, so it mostly has like, you know, vibe music. Pizza Tower, I don't know the soundtrack of Pizza Tower. I, it must be good if it's in the fucking runner-ups. 
and also like Persona 5, I think that has a good soundtrack. Like the Persona games have pretty decent uh, soundtracks. Or so I've heard. But yeah, fucking <laughs> Last of Us. Probably because that's the most popular amongst the uh, the nominees. It's weird. Don't care about the video game soundtrack, so honestly don't even know anything. Eh. Story Ridge game Baldur's Gate, obviously. Yeah. I think the the Story Ridge game also had the, one of the AAA games. I don't know if it was Starfield. Let me check why this shit is loading. Don't know where to check though. 2033. No me knees. No me knees. Probably gonna lag the stream though. That's okay. Oh, it only shows me the fucking. Oh, there, we can see the, uh, oops. Oh yeah, the Jedi game was there. Oh yeah, this one had the, uh, the live-action dating sim. The, uh, Story Ridge game. <laughs> that would have been the meme. <clears throat> it had Resident Evil 4, which is just a remake. Lies of P, which doesn't really have a story. Kill robots, good, done. Kill mutated people, good, done. You're a real boy now, yay. And the Star Wars Jedi Survivors, I don't think anyone finished that game because it runs so fucking bad. <laughs> oh, game is lagging. Where's my truck? Smoke. <laughs> I love that. Alright. Giant stone arches. This looks like one. Oh no, let's go for this one, because it also has plants in it. You want this for the live action dating scene? <laughs> I voted for Baldur's Gate, obviously. I didn't meme about the uh, the votings. <clears throat> yeah, but that, that live action dating scene was funny. Like that crap. I pressed E, what the fuck? It cracked me up when I saw it. <laughs> Imagine if that won. It would give it a big exposure. Oh, oh shit, that's new. Oh yeah, there it is, the sucker fish! Oh god, it's sucking the... Even in death, it sucks. The long mouth of these creatures means they inhale a significant amount of sand, which is then filtered for insects and other nutrients before being spat back out with force that will deter predators. Oh. They shit where they eat. Same hole. <clears throat> Sit back and relax. Went with train sim. Really? I don't know what the uh, the nominees were. I know Dave the Diver won, which is good. I I, li I liked it. Dave the Diver was a fun game. This was a pretty long game as well. Wasn't the Dredge part of the uh, the nominees? I think Dredge was somewhere. But I might be mixing it with the uh, the Game Awards things, because I think Dredge was Dredge was uh, a nominee somewhere, but I don't know if it was the Steam Awards or the Game Awards. All right, we got the second sucker fish, so that's good. So now we can go back to the wash, because I think the last two are from there: one in the bone place and one in the giant chalk place. All of these fucking mounds are chalk. That looks like a huge fucking chalk. You can go there. Chalk! <clears throat> Being nominated gave it enough exposure already. Yeah, that's that's true.
people are buying it up now. Everybody wants that live-action dating sim. Who doesn't want a, a real-life digital waifu? <laughs> that was for the Steam Deck Award? Oh, oh yeah. Even that would be better on Steam Deck than fucking Hogwarts. It's a pretty relaxing game. Perfect for handheld, because you don't do much. Oh my god, I hate this navigation. I hate this map. I hate, I hate the, the UI of this game. It's so bad. A car! I got my giant pizza cutter. It's coming. Truck. <clears throat> Can I? Nah. Let's put her here. Which was also a fun game. And they did a, uh, a collab with uh, Dave the Diver. Not long ago. Dave the Diver received some dredge update. They got some... Some Lovecraftian fish. That you can catch. It's pretty fun. Oh, that's the thing. <clears throat> Trifle jelly. Oh god. It's just the horn. Unfortunately inedible despite its name, the layers of thin membranes surround the rock-like core that shrinks over the course of its lifetime until it dies. That's depressing. Why the fuck would we need this then? What do we use this for? Do we make dyes out of this? What's the point of this fish? It lives until it dies. That's it. <laughs> God damn it. Fish. Just give me one more jelly, please. But yeah, like half of the Steam Awards were kind of meme this year. Very nice. Oh, that's that's the one. That's what I need. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So now we can just explore and do the rest of the shit. Let's go to the uh, the boat first because I already went around it. Get some chums. I don't believe there are no chums around the Vivarium either. Maybe there are some on the top. I have to I have to know. Need all the chums. Okay. fall in here. Probably shouldn't. Oh, actually I can't. There's a glass on it. Probably no glass here, though. Oh, fucking hell.
No ear movement. So far. Deposit the fish. Maybe I get another rod. Not really a fan of Steam shows, as they are the games you like. Bar shows. Oh. I don't know why I said Steam shows. <laughs> <coughs> But you gotta respect the winners. Unless it's obviously memes. Oh, look at the Nemours. Wow. It's not their natural habitat, but they... They seem happy. Wow. <laughs> the fuck is this? Sola, hello. Approach the merchant who looks quite keen to do business. Okay. What brings you to the Vivarium? Have you seen this place? It's spectacular. I arrived to wash years ago because this place simply screams out to be studied by careful eyes and clever brains. It's the Vivarium that might keep me here. Thrilled at the opportunities here. Sometimes make outfits. The flying insects here, they've inspired me. I've made a new a few species pieces in response. Artistic creations. Resplendent, sumptuous, and incredible objects. Like <clears throat> the likes of which Midden has never seen before. I'm taken back by the clearly unrelenting enthusiasm. Can't help but feel a spark of excitement. See you soon. Right now. See me right now. Bees knees. Take a look at my creations. Wings! Oh my god, more bike parts! No! I don't got money! <coughs> Holy fuck, I can have wings. Butterflies. Oh yes. I need these. It's a dragonfly bike and butterfly... Top and trousers. 400 for the f <laughs> I don't got that kind of capital. I can sell some feet. Fucking eight for these? That's trash. What? What is that? Wait, what is that? I can sell it for 1234. Wait, one, two, three, four. But I have zero of this. And it has no description. I think something bugged out. I'm not supposed to have this. Can I sell it? I can't even click on it. Aha! I'm all out of cuts. Oh, the merchant actually has no money. So even if I... What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's some endgame shit. They have no money and I have no money. I gotta make money somewhere. Fuck. I need more fish. Bruh, I wanna become a butterfly riding a dragonfly. Sounds kinky as fuck. Yeah. And then some fish. Thank you, Sable. Great stuff. I'll get them into tanks. What do you want to discuss? No new rods? I mean... What do I need? The ghost soul and... The pebble eye. That's it. And the pebble eye I need for the fucking angler as well. And the ghost soul I just need. Cool. So two pebble eyes and two ghost souls. The pebble eyes are the, in the eastern dunes, wherever the fuck that is. And the ghost souls are probably at the boneyard. And I think the boneyard is this. These look like bones. Oh, here. But first... Put a ship. My ring truck. Yeah. Looks pretty cool at that night. The lights on it. <gasps> There's a chum nearby. It's probably in this fucking pipe. 
I had to gas. Can't climb the pipe though. Oh, it's not in the pipe. Thank fuck. Good. Not in the pipe. Haha. <laughs> <clears throat> not in the pipe. Got the one on the wing. Okay, it stopped fl fluttering. It's on the other end. There's another. Oh, I see it! It's right there. Come on, truckler. Fucking <laughs> truck. How do I climb this shit? Oh, wait, actually, I think I can climb the bone itself. the camera <laughs> holy shit all right chum number 111 the time's up look away from the screen oh god what's happening <laughs> what the fuck it launched me all right cool safe to look now. That was, that was some gruesome murder. Holy crap, I Goomba stomped it. Let's see if Simone reacts. Oh yeah. <clears throat> look at that speed. Look at the fucking truck. Yeah! <laughs> Chum is probably inside. Let's, let's go. Time to conquer this and probably get the... Oh, this is the center of Brunswick, okay. Probably get the last recording as well. Chum's in here? There's a scrap. Oh, there's the chum. Right above. Can I cheese it? Yeah! <clears throat> Easy. Look away. 112. I don't know how many there are. I really hope it's not 200. Safe to look at. It's probably like 150, maybe 160. Then again, oh, that's a lot. That means I, I missed a lot. <laughs> better not be. Did I skip the whole part? Oh, there's some scrap there. I need that. I need the money. I need the money. Yeah, there's not much else here. Oh boy, here we go, puzzle. Meow. Scrap. Money. Gonna be a moving thing. Four places, only one battery. Okay, just, just something else. Scrap. 
Okay, this should be the first thing to do. I can jump on it, go up there. I can go up there now. Let's see. This needs to be just flat, and then that needs to be turned on. Yeah. Anything else on this? I don't want to bother that one. I don't touch this. <clears throat> What's this one? Kill. I feel smart. This is probably the easiest puzzle puzzle room in the game. They didn't get stuck. <laughs> That's where I need to go. Oh. Wait a minute. <clears throat> what the fuck? Stairs. Ah, uh, I need that to be up. Oh, I see. Because I can go there go up and from there I can get to that actually that needs to be up there you do touch this I guess I could leave this in here Run. Scraps. And that's the last recording, I think. Which means I'll get the uh, the future bike. Whoa! Or I guess the past bike. A space bike. Oh, Sarin. Oh, it's Sarin, not uh, whatever the fuck I called it. Simba or whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> the one red message is Sable. Cool. Have... Here are your unread messages. Recording five. Wait, five? What? Oh, I, I think I need six. Oh, well. That's the plot of this game. Uh, you're a child who's growing up. So your nomadic tribe tells you to go and go on your gliding. Which really just means that you go out into the world, wherever you want to go. You have to do tasks for different factions. And if you do tasks for them, they give you badges. And if you collect three of one kind of badge, you can turn that into a mask. 
and essentially choose your future job. And that's how the game ends. You go back to your tribe, tell them that you chose one of the masks, and that's that. I think. I don't know. I never played this. But that's that's the main goal, essentially. You have to go out and find your calling, I guess. See what you want to be. And side stuff is like finding out the history of the planet, how people came to this planet, you can fish, you can collect bike parts and dyes and customize your bike. You know. You can call you can find <clears throat> these little floating creatures, watch them commit suicide, and take their eggs. That's how you upgrade your stamina, for example. You watch things die. But yeah, the, the main plot is just that. Find your calling, get a mask, go back home, done. <laughs> but you can get multiple masks, of course. So you, you don't have to just choose one. You can do all the things. And then decide. I find myself tapping my foot in anticipation as I start up the workstation. Saren, at long range communication, are still being disrupted by the perpetual. Officer Ellis wishes to return her attention to shielding the reactors from its interference permission. Granted. Sarin, I want you to stick with the comms array and see if you don't squeeze something out without being bounced back. Yes, Captain. Uh, we might as well get the terraformers up and running then, right? Ah, they terraformed the planet. Deacon, if you don't shut up about the terraformers. He lets it hang in the air, but goes on before he can finish what I can only assume would be a very pointed threat. If you hadn't been running your mouth, we would still be in orbit negotiating a landing with this godforsaken planet. They can't even breathe the air out there and... All the more reason to start terraforming now. What is your point, Captain? Deacon, listen to me. We can't. That landing was hell on those things. Their red shielding is beyond repair right now. If you run these things, they will pump the radiation into the atmosphere for a hundred years. That's Earth years. It's not an option for us, Deacon. Then maybe we don't do it for us. Recording goes silent. Oh shit! Deacon. Wait, that should be Saren. No unread messages. Damn, so they terraformed the planet. <clears throat> and after a hundred Earth years, the remaining survivors, I guess, came out of underground, maybe? And then they live on a desert planet now. Arrakis! With a giant dune worm. Or at least it's corpse because it died during terraformation. Ha! <laughs> you gotta kill a planet to live on a planet. But I guess I need one more recording, because that was only five. The thrilling conclusion eludes me still. There's the giant worm, Shia LaBeouf, or whatever its name is, Shia Lood. <laughs> I call it Shia LaBeouf. Wonder what these creatures were, because they kind of just fucking died. Okay, let's let's fish. This looks pretty bony. And it also has plants. Oh, what the fuck is this? Can I take these? That is mangoes. Prickly pears! What? Fallout, for, uh, Fallout New Vegas. Prickly, prickly pears. <laughs> <clears throat> How the fuck? Do I even need these? Come soon! Some prickly pears, I guess. Go back to this bony, bony one. I guess I can fish in the prickly pears and then try it next to the bones. That's just the kicker. Let's try it next to the bones. Ah! Okay. 
It's a very thrilling uh, storyline in this game. Full of twists and... ...gasps. What the fuck? It's an artsy game. What the fuck? I need them. Um, new fish. Big bone, go. I need a ghost fish. It's my beard. Aha! Whoa! Ghost soul! Condom. These ethereal creatures are impossible to see in some light, and only seem to appear near the corpses of dead creatures, leading people to believe they are somehow connected to the afterlife. Nah, they are simply here to break down the bones. It's just nature. Oh, there was a black screen for a second. What the fuck? Imagine if my GP died right now. That would be funny. Because <laughs> that's the second time we did the black screen today. It only lasts for like a split second. Concerning! Oh! So close! Couldn't be a better placement. dropping by. I'm glad to see that you survived the uh, the New Year celebra celebrations. There we go. That's what I want. Balloon fish. Fuck. Oh, I could look through all the bones. Because there might be chums and, and other ones that are on top. Ah, oh, but there's a lot of them. Although I could just do a circle, I guess. We'll just go like this. Then down here. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, truck. Truck moon. <laughs> it's truck moon. Converts the sand into electricity. Yeah, or something. <laughs> but also get these breakfast pairs. So see what the fuck they are. They are in the common. Some are manifested from bones of creatures under the wash. Extremely tasty to eat, but difficult to swallow due to the seeds that permeate the fruit. Bone fruits. From death comes fruit. Makes sense.
truck. This thing can easily go up these fucking hills. Look at that. It just jumped over it. Amazing. Yeah, there's probably nothing around here. Then again. What is that? It's probably nothing anymore. But we can go to the worm now. Oh yeah. Although I could go to the eastern dunes, whatever that is. Get the pillfish and be done with the fish, actually. I should do that first. <laughs> Ah, squeeze. Oh, there's a chump. Yeah. Look at that. It's on this one. Holy shit. There might be 200 chumps. But at least 150. Feel like. I don't know if I want to get all of them. I would have to look through all the all the biomes I've already been to. Oh look away. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> cool. Going off now. Going up and down. And I think she's stuck. Simone. Something's hanging from its mouth. Might be a chum. What if this is what the chum queen is going to turn into? Damn death worm. Whee! Alright, death worm. And a worm. Me for the chums. Where do we start? Can I climb this? Because if I can climb it, it, it's gonna be an easy one. No, 
Oh yeah, easy. Even without stamina upgrades, this is easily doable. Because you can just rest on the fins or legs or whatever. Sense of charm. Now the question is, where? Is it out on one of the rocks, or is it one of the the legs that have it? It's probably on one of the legs. Oh, it's annoying. It's a bird. God damn it. Thought it was that. It's really excited now, the helmet, the mask, probably on the top. Oh, there's one down there. That's good to know. Oh shit, I fell. Ooh. Money! Any bug? It's a bird. More birds. Funnel cake. No. <sighs> There's a chum right there, I see it. That piece of shit. Thinks it can evade my wrath. Cannot. It will not. of the worm I guess 
Look away. Oh. Right into the bone. Safe to look. Is that a... Okay, that's a bird. That's the basket. That's another bird. Yeah. Still wriggling about, so there's more. More. Holy fucking... Ah! No way. Ew. Birds inside. There's the chum. It lives there, but I'm gonna kill it. Wing. Into the mouth of the beast. Punch. Come. I can't get in there. That's nasty. That's just not touch it yet. Oh, it's a tiny one. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? Ew. Okay, look away. First to kill. Point. It's safe to look now. 115. I hope I can make this go down so I can just ride it. Although, it looks like there's not enough rope for it to go down. Yikes. <clears throat> I mean, there's rope here, but I don't think I can connect. What is this thing? Picked up the worn and weathered pages left in the small encampment. Not something I expected to find up here. Far too tempting to ignore. Diary. Here I am. You told me to look to <coughs> Pyrost, Pyrost, yeah, I guess that's the worm. And I had lost it all. And here I am with nothing and no one, alone at the end of all my failures. I will sit and think for a while. Perhaps something will come to me. Otherwise, I look to fall. Damn. Anna, I know you won't, won't want to hear me, but I have to tell you, Pyrost just spoke to me. In a voice like rolling thunder and late evening shivers, she shook my bones told me there is more to this than I know, that I must look inside the statue. <laughs> I have no way inside, but I will find one. But I am <clears throat> bidden to go to Pyrostia's whim. There will I walk in her great shadow. Oh. Oh, squish. They make the noise of squish. What if I use my fishing on it? <laughs> what if I use my fishing on this? Too far. Stuff is jump. <coughs> oh Jesus Christ! Excuse me. Stuff is jumping out of it. Maybe it's boiling. It's shadow. Huh? It's climbing back up here. It's gonna be a fucking ordeal. God damn it! Oh yeah, blah blah blah. Oh wait, I forgot. I should have... Fuck! There's the charm on the pillar. Can I climb the pillar? I can't. It's a nub. Back on the worm. So maybe I have to look for its giant shadow and... Maybe I'll find some entrance to the worm? Something? Maybe the worm is not Pyrostia. Or maybe it is. True.
Looks like my internet dead too. Let's see. Is it OBS or is it my internet? Looks to be OBS. Because the browser works. I don't know why OBS does this. Did it yesterday? Does it now? Fuck it, I guess. And it's back. Now it's gonna have a huge delay. That's cool. I don't mind at all. It's not annoying at all. I'm not upset. You're upset. The worm! Wait, that's the worm. What is this? I think that should be here. That icon. Oh well, what can you do? Or maybe... Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. I'll teleport to it after I get this chum. Look away! Whoa. And the mask is still once more. Oop. Safe to look. I got the chum egg. It didn't even show up on the screen. Let's see, it's steepy to the worm. Let's see what it does. Where, the f where am I? What if it just teleports me to the little vase? Oh no, it's it's the worm. Okay. The icon is just misplaced. That's okay. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Now we go to the donut. <clears throat> the funnel cake. The pink X. What's the what's the other marker? Oh yeah, the, the watch. The shit. I probably have like ten chums. Whoa. Imagine all the chum possibilities. Chumps abilities. Yes. Maybe that's Pyrostia, this thing. I can't climb it, I guess. Oh, I can. Let's test our stamina. It's probably not enough, but that won't stop me from wasting three minutes. Goodbye, Sea Moon. Wow. So small already. Art. Yeah, I don't have enough. Please, bird! Grab my hand! Oh, look at that! Yeah, oh, never mind. I thought I was doing some... some tricks. Stunts. But nah, this is weird. Yeah, this is probably the Pyrostia or whatever. And I need to look for something's big shadow. is real. Wait a minute. What if? I can get up to that pillar. Probably can't. 
Although, yesterday, I was able to climb stuff like that. But I don't think it was intended. Because if I could get to the top of this thing, I might be able to float down and still be pretty high. <clears throat> to save some stamina. Nah, I won't be able to climb this. It's too steep. I might be able to go on that. Look at this shit. How does she do it? What the fuck? Okay, I guess I can. <laughs> Interesting. I need all my stamina for this. Oh, well, steam dried again. Okay, the internet is shitting the bed. That's okay, I don't care. There you go. Ooh. Let's reload the fucking browser before it starts running in the background. <sighs> okay, so... My internet works, because it loads in the page. This, uh, like, without a hitch. But OBS can't connect. So I might have to go to a different, uh... Server, I guess. Oh, it reconnected. There might be a server problem. With Twitch. Can I go to a different server while I'm live? Probably not. I can't. Fuck! <clears throat> well, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to cut the uh, the recording in half. Oh, it disconnected though. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know what? Let's cut it in half.